when a plan when a plan or uh, or personnel calls for it, what kind of discipline and patience does it require to kind of dink and dunk your way through through a game? Yeah, I mean that definitely uh, comes up periodically throughout um, throughout a season. You know, you know, some games going in, they're going to make it tough, and uh, going to have to be smart with the football. So, um, just kind of depends on the game plan. Is there is there temptation in those situations to to look to want to do more? I mean, there's always temptation. You know, you want to uh, you want to make plays. You want to you know. Uh, stretch the field, uh, have opportunities downfield, give your guys a chance. So there's definitely always temptation. Yeah, very complimentary of, of your play. <laughs> he mentioned how you know you've done well against him. What is it about being able to go in there and just overcome that that aura and everything that that comes with playing at uh, Jeff State? Well, it's definitely a tough place to play. Uh, look at it historically; they've been really good there. Um, they're playing really good football right now. You know, they're loud on third down. They got the foghorn going. Um, you know, get them to a lot of weather games there. So uh, definitely a tough place to play. And then we're going to have to be at our best communicating. Uh, they do a great job of, of mixing up personnel, mixing up uh, looks. They give you every look in the book. And um, it's going to be up to us to, to be able to communicate, ID, and, and be on the right people. Things like Ryan for quarterback, you got some guys in and out, not sure who's playing until late in the week, and how do you, how do you kind of manage it? It makes it tougher, no doubt about it. But uh, at the end of the day, you have to uh, have to get ready to go each and every week, no matter you know what kind of hand you're dealt, and uh, and go play good football. I appreciate a management team that that you know tries with an Adrian Peterson, goes and gets a Golden Tate, and it's not just like, well, guys are hurt. Good luck, everybody, this weekend. Yeah, everyone's trying to do their best, right? They're they're trying to do their best to to get guys in here that, that fit what we do and and can fill in for for guys when they when they go down. Um, you know, players are, are doing our best to get ready to go each and every week. So uh, it's from top to bottom of this organization, I think everyone tries to do the best they can to, to get ready and, and prepare the team each and every week. Ryan, what about Des Fitzpatrick's growth um, since maybe the summer gives you confidence that he could maybe step up for you guys with just kind of the revolving door you guys have had at receiver? Yeah, he's definitely grown. You know, a guy that... Um, you know, came in, maybe didn't have the, the start he wanted to, but, uh, you know, as the season's gone on, started making a ton of plays week, on a weekly basis on scout team, and then, uh, you know, you've seen his opportunities grow uh, on Sunday. So it uh, definitely kind of fits what this program is about, is take advantage of your opportunity, uh, take advantage of each day, uh, grow in practice, and then you'll get your opportunity on game day. Ryan, what have you seen out of a guy like Golden Tate in his career? And is it easier maybe to have a veteran presence come in here? Is it easier to maybe get on the same page with a guy who's been in, in a different systems and a couple of different places? I hope so. I haven't, uh, haven't been on the field with him yet. But, uh, you know, a ton of respect for his career, you know, things he's done. He's been a guy who's, who's consistently got open, you know, plays a lot in the slot, and, um, you know, enjoyed watching him play over the years. So, Hopefully we can get on the same page quickly and he can contribute for us. Frederick said that he came up to him and said, hey, anything I can do for you, just let me know. I mean, he's still got to work his way onto the game day roster. But had any kind of conversation with him? What was kind of your early, what's your early interaction with him been like? Yeah, early interaction has been great. You know, a guy I knew a little bit, you know, before before he signed him. Um, like I mentioned, just uh, had a great career, a good football player, a good dude, and so excited to have him. You know, a guy like that can get you those free yards. You know, how critical is that for you, you know, in, in a situation where you want to be precise with the football but still want to get those chunk plays? What are you talking about? I'm sorry. Free yards for Golden Tate, yards after the catch. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, yards after the catch are huge. You know, I think um, it kind of fits what we like to do is is get the ball in our playmakers' hands and, and um, let them make plays, you know, whether it's A.J. or – or you mentioned Golden, guys that, that are good with the football in their hands are, are going to be good for us. Brian, you haven't had a lot of games since you've been here that you probably won it back after it was over, maybe in the way that Sunday played out. How do you turn the page from that and, and let it fuel you or, or forget about it? Or, or what's your process to just move on and get ready for this week? Yeah, obviously, probably one of the worst games I've been a part of. So, um, not something I'm proud of, but can definitely grow from it. Have to turn the page and move on. You know, I, I don't think um, that's indicative of the of the player that I am and believe that I am. 
just got to play smart football. You know, it turned into uh, something that, that it should have never been. And uh, at the end of the day, have to turn the page and, and get ready and prepare for a new week. And as you get ready for this week, there's going to be a lot of new faces out there. You guys had a walkthrough yesterday. It's not clear how much you'll be able to do over the next couple of days. How do you get ready for a game with some new faces at wide receiver without having a full week of practice or as much time as you might like? It makes it hard, no doubt about it. I uh, have to communicate really, really well, uh, be on the same page um, in the film room, in the installs, making sure we're communicating everything clearly, uh, communicating exactly what I'm expecting, and then um, – if we do get some full speed reps, taking advantage of every rep we get. You said a few times on Sunday, falls on me, I need to be better. Well, what specifically does need to be better this week than it was this past week? <laughs> uh, name it. I mean, uh, you guys watched the game. There was there was some good things in that game and then um, some things that hurt us. So um, just got to clean it up. So what's it like when new guys join the locker room? I mean, does Bray will introduce them during team meeting? How do you meet the guys? And has, has it kind of been crazy, just so many new guys coming in and out? And, and are you constantly finding yourself inter introducing yourself to new players? Yeah, it's uh, it's been wild, you know. I feel like you know, we always have a little bit of turnover, but this year it's been it's been heavy. You know, I think yesterday in the team meeting when he introduced – the new guys, I don't remember how many, it was probably like six or seven guys. And uh, so you're trying to look around and, and match a name with a face and and uh, remember it and then, you know, go up to these guys and introduce yourself and welcome them to the team. Um, but like I, I said, everyone's trying to try to fight and get this team ready to go. If we can add some guys that can help us, then I'm all for it.